Max Emilien Vertappen is a Belgian Dutch racing driver and the 2021 and 2022 Formula One world champion. He competes under the Dutch flag in Formula One with Red Bull Racing. Vertappen is the son of racing drivers Jos Vertappen, who also competed in Formula One, and Sophie Kumpen. He had a successful run in junior karting and single-seater categories including KF3, WSK World Series, KZ2 and European Formula 3 beating several records. At the 2015 Australian Grand Prix, when he was aged 17 years, 166 days, he became the youngest driver to compete in Formula 1. After spending the 2015 season with Kuderia Toro Rosso, Vertappen started his 2016 campaign with the Italian team before being promoted to parent team Red Bull Racing after four races as a replacement for Daniel Kvyat. At the age of 18, he won the 2016 Spanish Grand Prix on his debut for Red Bull Racing, becoming the youngest ever driver and the first Dutch driver to win a Formula One Grand Prix. After winning the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, Vertappen became the first Dutch driver to win the Formula One World Championship, and the 34th Formula One World Drivers' Champion. He won his second Formula One Championship the next season, winning 14 of 20 races, becoming one of the few drivers to win back-to-back -back championships in the sport. As of the 2022 Mexico City Grand Prix, Vertappen has achieved 34 victories and 19 pole positions. He scored the first hat-trick of his career at the 2021 French Grand Prix and his first Grand Slam at the 2021 Austrian Grand Prix. He scored his second Grand Slam at the 2022 Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix. Vertappen is set to remain at Red Bull until at least the end of the 2028 season after signing a contract extension. Personal Life Max Emilien Vertappen was born on September 30, 1997 in Hasselt, Belgium to Jos Vertappen and Sophie Kumpen, and has a younger sister, Victoria. Verstappen's parents separated when he was young, after which he lived with his father while his sister Victoria lived with their mother. Vertappen has three younger half-siblings from his father, a sister, Blue Jay, from his second marriage and a brother and sister, Jason Jax, and Mila Fay, from his current marriage. His family has a long association with motor sports, his father is a Dutch former Formula One driver, his Belgian mother competed in karting, and his first cousin once removed, Anthony Kumpen, competed in endurance racing and is a two-time NASCAR Well and Euro Series champion currently serving as the team manager. For PK Carsport in Euro Series. Although Vertappen has a Belgian mother, was born in Belgium and resided in Brie, Belgium, he decided to compete with a Dutch racing license because he feels more Dutch, having spent more time with his father than with his mother owing to his karting activities, and was always surrounded by Dutch people while growing up in Mossiek, a Belgian town at the Dutch border. Vertappen said in 2015, I actually only lived in Belgium to sleep, but during the day I went to the Netherlands and had my friends there too. I was raised as a Dutch person and that's how I feel. He competed in Formula One for more than a season before obtaining a road driving license on his 18th birthday. Vertappen moved to Monaco the day after, in October 2015, and has lived there since and has said it was not for tax reasons. In November 2020, Vertappen bought a Dassault Falcon 900EX aircraft from Virgin Galactic. The aircraft is registered PHDTF and operated by Xero. In his free time, Vertappen enjoys sim racing. Having taken part in many sim racing competitions, Vertappen stated that it helps him with his real life racing, keeping him ready to go. Vertappen is a member of Team Redline a multinational sim racing team. Vertappen is a supporter of FC Barcelona and PSV Eindhoven. Vertappen speaks three languages, Dutch, English and German, the latter of which he learned while karting with Michael Schumacher. In September 2022, 
he was made an officer of the Order of Orange Nassau in recognition of his racing achievements. Vertappen has been publicly dating Kelly Paquette since January 2021. Junior Career Vertappen competed in the Mini Junior Championship of his home province of Limburg, Belgium. In 2006, Vertappen graduated to the Rodex Max Minimax class and won the Belgian Championship. In 2007, Vertappen won the Dutch Minimax Championship. Racing in a CRG kart entered by his father, Vertappen won the Dutch and Belgian Minimax Championships as well as the Belgian Cadet Championship. In 2009, Vertappen joined Team PEX Racing, a CRG customer team. That year, he won the Flemish Minimax Championship and the Belgian KF5 Championship. Vertappen stepped up to international karting in 2010. He was signed by CRG to race in their factory team at the World and European Championships. At the KF3 World Cup, Vertappen finished second to the more experienced Alexander Albin but beat him at the WSK Euro Series and also won the WSK World Series, beating Robert Vioyu. In 2011, Vertappen won the WSK Euro Series in a Perilla powered CRG. In the following year, Vertappen entered the Intrepid Driver program to race in the KF2 and KZ2 classes. He won the WSK Master Series in the KF2 class, beating CRG driver Felician. Vertappen won the South Garda Winter Cup in the KF2 class, beating Dennis Olsen and Antonio Fuoco. At the end of 2012, it was announced that Vertappen would leave Intrepid. After a short stint with CRG built Zanardi Karts, Vertappen returned to the factory CRG team. He competed at the Skusa Supernationals in the KZ2 class in a CRG, finishing 21st aged 15, Vertappen won two European titles and a world title in 2013, an unprecedented feat in the history of the discipline. Vertappen won the 2013 World KZ Championship at Varennes sur Allier, France, becoming the youngest driver ever to win the KZ World Championship. Florida Winter Series and Formula 3 Verstappen's first experience in a racing car was at the Pembry Circuit on October 11, 2013. He drove 160 laps in a Barazzi Epsilon FR 2.010 Formula Renault car. The car was provided by Dutch team MP Motorsport. He tested for several Formula Renault 2.0 teams in 2013. In December 2013, Vertappen tested a Dallara F311 Formula 3 car run by Moto Park Academy. An additional Formula Renault test followed in December at Circuito de Jerez. Driving for Joseph Kaufman Racing, Vertappen went faster than Formula Renault regulars like Stijn Skothorst and Matt Perry. At the circuit Ricardo Tormo near Valencia, Vertappen set a faster lap time than the more experienced driver Eddie Cheever 3. On January 16, 2014, it was announced Vertappen would make his racing debut in the non championship Florida Winter Series. On February 5, at the second race weekend, Vertappen won the race at Palm Beach International Raceway after he started from pole. A few weeks later, Vertappen won his second race of the series at Homestead Miami Speedway after beating Nicholas Latifi by 0.004 seconds. Following his single-seater debut in the inaugural Florida Winter Series, Vertappen drove in the FIA European Formula 3 Championship for Van Amers Fort Racing. Aged 16, Vertappen scored a record six consecutive victories in the series, and a record ten victories in total along with eight retirements and one DNS, placing third in the overall rankings. Formula One Career Cuderia Toro Rosso During the first practice session at the 2014 Japanese Grand Prix, Vertappen replaced Jean-Eric Vergne as part of his preparation for a full-time seat at Toro Rosso in the 2015 season. Aged 17 years and three days, 
Vertappen was the youngest person in history to participate in a Formula One race weekend. In August 2014, Vertappen joined the Red Bull Junior team after testing a Formula Renault 3.5 car. He also considered an offer from Mercedes to join their driver development program. Vertappen became the youngest driver to start a world championship race through joining Toro Rosso's race drivers lineup with Carlos Sainz as his teammate, in his Grand Prix debut as a full-time driver at the 2015 Australian Grand Prix at the age of 17 years, 166 days breaking Jamie Algarsweri's existing record by almost two years. In this first race, Vertappen ran in points scoring positions until he was forced to retire due to an engine failure. However, at the subsequent race in Malaysia, Vertappen qualified sixth and finished the race in seventh place, scoring his first Formula One points aged 17 years, 180 days, breaking the record of the then youngest driver to score world championship points. At the 2015 Monaco Grand Prix, Vertappen was involved in a high-speed collision with Romain Grisjean, after clipping the back of Grisjean's Lotus on the approach to the tight first corner, Saint Devote, and crashed into the barriers at high speed. Vertappen was given a five-place grid penalty for causing the accident, and was branded dangerous by Williams driver Felipe Massa. Vertappen continued to regularly finish in the points as well as achieving his best finish of the 2015 season in Hungary by finishing fourth, and equaled this result at the United States Grand Prix. At the end of the season, Vertappen received three awards at the FIA prize giving ceremony, for Rookie of the Year, Personality of the Year and Action of the Year for his overtake on Felipe Nasr on the outside of the blanc Himant corner at the Belgian Grand Prix. Vertappen began the 2016 season at Toro Rosso, again alongside Sainz. Vertappen qualified fifth for the opening race of the season in Australia, but during the race made several radio calls to his team due to frustration at being behind Sainz on track before Verstappen's Toro Rosso came into contact with his teammate's car whilst attempting to pass him with three laps to go, and he eventually finished 10th. Vertappen enjoyed a more successful weekend at the following race in Bahrain, finishing 6th to score Toro Rosso's first ever points at the Sakir circuit. Red Bull on May 5, 2016, following the Russian Grand Prix, Red Bull Racing announced that Vertappen would be replacing Daniel Kvyat from the Spanish Grand Prix onwards, with Kvyat returning to Toro Rosso. According to Red Bull team principal Christian Horner, Max has proven to be an outstanding young talent. His performance at Toro Rosso has been impressive so far and we are pleased to give him the opportunity to drive for Red Bull Racing. After qualifying fourth for the Spanish Grand Prix, Vertappen rose to second behind teammate Daniel Ricciardo on the opening lap after Mercedes teammates Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg crashed out of the race. Vertappen took the race lead as he was placed on a two-stop rather than the same three-stop strategy as Ricciardo, and he held off Ferrari's Kimi Raikkonen in the later stages of the race to take his first Formula One victory. By doing so he displaced Sebastian Vettel as the youngest driver ever to win a Formula One Grand Prix at the age of 18 years and 228 days. In his first eight races with Red Bull, he achieved six top five finishes, including four podiums. During the Belgian Grand Prix, Vertappen collided with Raikkonen at the first corner, pushed Vettel, Raikkonen and Perez wide at Lake Combs, and aggressively blocked Raikkonen on the Kemmel straight. Vertappen was criticized for his driving, with Raikkonen saying that he was going to cause a huge accident sooner or later. Christian Horner noted that the driving was on the edge, and that Vertappen will look at it and learn for future races. In September, Formula One director Charlie Whiting called in Vertappen for a discussion, and later gave him a gentle warning due to his aggressive driving. However, in October, Driver's concerns about Verstappen's defensive tactics led the FIA to disallow moving under braking. At the 2016 Brazilian Grand Prix, 
Vertappen qualified fourth. In a rain-affected race, he almost hit the barrier after he slid on the main straight due to a loss of traction, causing oversteer. After an additional tire change from intermediates back to rain tires, he ran in 16th place with just 15 laps remaining. Vertappen then made several overtakes in quick succession during the closing laps to eventually finish on the podium in third place. He received considerable praise for his performance, rival team Mercedes team principal, Toto Wolff, labeled it the Vertappen show, and described Verstappen's drive as physics being redefined. However, Vertappen came under criticism from four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel, who stated that Vertappen had pushed him off the track at the Junko corner late in the race. The race stewards did not share Vettel's view and decided that no reprimand was warranted. During the first 14 races of the 2017 season, Vertappen suffered seven retirements, four due to mechanical issues, and three due to first lap collisions in Spain, Austria, and Singapore. Of the races he finished, however, he claimed a third place in China, and in the another five races he finished fourth or fifth. From the Malaysian Grand Prix onward, Vertappen enjoyed a surge of success. He won his second Formula One race at the 2017 Malaysian Grand Prix, a day after his 20th birthday, passing then three time champion Lewis Hamilton for the lead in the early stages of the race. He finished second in the following race in Japan. He then finished third at the United States Grand Prix, but was classified fourth after his final lap overtake on Kimi Raikkonen was deemed illegal. He won his third Formula One race at the Mexican Grand Prix, after passing Sebastian Vettel on the opening lap. 2018 Season 2019 Season 2020 Season, third in the championship. 2021 Season World Champion 2022 and beyond Reception Qualifying Speed Following Verstappen's maiden pole position at the 2019 Hungarian Grand Prix, former Formula One world champion Nico Rosberg described him as the fastest driver in Formula One. Rosberg elucidated that Verstappen did not have the fastest car during the qualifying session in Hungary emphasizing that it was Verstappen's raw speed that allowed him to secure pole position, Mercedes still had the fastest car, and it's just Verstappen with his driving that put it up there in pole. In 2019, former Formula One world champion Jensen Button stated that he believes Verstappen is the fastest Formula One driver ever, I think he is the fastest driver that has ever driven an F1 car. I really do. I think he is unbelievably fast. Journalist Scott Mitchell from the race commented, When everything comes together, Vertappen is the quickest driver in F1 over one lap, but the odd mistake and scruffy session must be eliminated. Helmut Marko, head of Red Bull's driver development program, stated that Vertappen is the fastest driver Red Bull have ever had. In 2021, Three-time Formula One world champion Jackie Stewart claimed that Verstappen is the fastest driver in Formula One, but he also added that Verstappen is still in the puppy stage of his career. Peter Windsor, an experienced Formula One journalist, expressed Verstappen's ability to change direction quicker than anybody else through the high-speed section Maggots and Beckett's, Silverstone's fastest sequence of corners. Windsor stressed that Verstappen's lightning quick change of direction is a result of the innate feel he has for creating the imperfect platform to achieve what he wants with the car during a lap. He is intrinsically able to create, for a trillionth of a second, a minuscule flat area between the left and the right of a change of direction ahead of him, in order to attain a stable balance with the car before applying the next steering and throttle input. Kuderia AlphaTauri's team principal, Franz Tost, declared Verstappen to be the fastest driver in Formula One, following the Dutchman's really deserved maiden title triumph in 2021. On the subject of sim racing, 
Vertappen was deemed the fastest driver by IndyCar racer and former Formula One driver Romain Grosjean. Dominance over her teammates Former Formula One driver Eddie Irvine praised Vertappen, stating that he is by far the most dominant team leader on the grid. Irvine highlighted that Vertappen has had many different second drivers in the team and none of them have got close to him. During the 2020 season, Jensen Button stated that he doesn't think there's been a driver that's annihilated their teammates like he has in a very long time. Motorsport columnist and former Formula One driver Jolian Palmer, commented that Verstappen's maiden world championship triumph could usher in a new era of dominance in the sport. Palmer wrote, Qualifying pace is frightening and has been the basis for this title-charging campaign. He's had the most pole positions of anyone with 10 almost half of the races, and it would have been half had he completed his mesmeric Jetta lap, which ended up being possibly Max's biggest error in a near-perfect season. For a driver who has demolished three successive teammates in three years and made only a handful of small mistakes in that time, you question what scope there even is for improvement but if he can take his game onto another level from here we could be about to see the start of a new era of dominance. Journalist Scott Mitchell expounded the reason why the Dutchman's teammates have fallen short even with the data. Mitchell wrote, Vertappen drives mainly on intuition, and that comes from years of training and preparation. He has a database in his head which he can use immediately. Even with data, Gasly and Albin could see where he was faster, but they could never grasp how he was faster there. That's because what makes Vertappen so good is mainly unconscious. According to Mitchell, those years of training and driving on his intuition has made it impossible for other drivers to measure up to Vertappen. Helmut Marco, the current advisor to the Red Bull GmbH Formula One teams, asserted that Verstappen's progress has moved him clear of his former Formula One teammate Daniel Ricciardo, in both qualifying and race trim. There is specific data, Marco told Autosport, in qualifying the gap to Ricciardo is greater. The strange thing is Max sometimes slides more, but still manages to keep the tires alive. Vertappen previously mentioned that he was three or four tenths faster on average than very fast qualifier Daniel Ricciardo. Marco concluded that then 20-year-old Vertappen clearly moved away from Ricciardo since the second half of the 2018 season. Natural Talent Following his maiden Formula One win, at the 2016 Spanish Grand Prix, three-time Formula One world champion Niki Lauda described Vertappen as the talent of the century. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner stated that Vertappen is the best driver Red Bull have ever seen, I have no doubt the best we have seen on one of our cars, in terms of outright raw ability and commitment. He's the best driver we've seen. Former Formula One driver Gerhard Berger echoed Jensen Button's recent comments, anointing Max Vertappen as the Formula One driver of this era with the most raw talent. Speaking to SPORT1, Berger ventured, when it comes to raw talent, Max Vertappen is the most talented of all. But it's not just about raw talent, it's about the whole package. That means it's not just about setting the fastest laps but also to win a race. And not just one race but many and eventually a championship, and championships. Two-time Formula One world champion Fernando Alonso commented that Vertappen is the standout driver in Formula One, declaring the Red Bull star to be one step ahead of everyone. Alonso noted that Vertappen deserved to win the Formula One Drivers' Championship in Abu Dhabi, ahead of the title decider that saw the Dutchman and Lewis Hamilton enter level on points, Mercedes lately have been more performing and they've won a couple of races now but Max is driving in my opinion one step ahead of all of us. We saw the lap in Jetta, until he touched the wall at the last corner, that lap was coming from Max, not the Red Bull. Former Formula One driver Karun Chandok likened Verstappen's ruthless and uncompromising attitude in race combat to Michael Schumacher's unyielding and iron-willed style of racing. 
Vertappen was ranked first in the annual Formula One team principal's top 10 drivers ranking in 2021. Rasekraft Following Vertappen being given a warning for his driving conduct at the 2016 Belgian Grand Prix, the 18-year-old received the backing of then three-time champion Lewis Hamilton, who commented, Firstly, give the guy a break, he is 18 years old. What the frickin' heck were any of us doing at 18? Despite earning high praise and acclaim from Formula One drivers and experts in and out of the sport, Vertappen faced criticism in the wake of the penalties he incurred during the 2021 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Following this race, former Formula One driver Martin Brundel wrote, Such is car control and cunning, he's sometimes able to pull off the audacious moves and leave a margin of doubt as to whether it's hard racing or simply a professional foul outside of the regulations and it's those moments which are generating the confusion, controversies, and inconsistencies. Ayrton Senna and Michael Schumacher had their faults too, and I was on the receiving end from both of them on occasions, but it's a sizable dent on their immense reputations, not a positive. Following an impressive first half of the 2022 season, journalist David Tremaine claimed Vertappen had elevated himself to a new higher level compared to his 2021 title-winning season, suggesting Verstappen's first title had made him more relaxed and chirpy. Fan Support Vertappen has accumulated a significant fanbus from around the world, but in particular from his home country of the Netherlands. Grand Prix events have dedicated Vertappen grandstands with thousands of traveling Dutch fans, boosting ticket sales particularly for European races such as Belgium, Austria and Hungary. During the 2021 Dutch Grand Prix, Honda's Formula One managing director Masashi Yamamoto praised the Vertappen supporters saying that in the six years I've been involved with Honda F1, I've never seen such a great turnout as at the Dutch Grand Prix. It was like being in a football stadium and that when Max crossed the finish line first, the whole circuit colored orange. In 2021 he was voted the most popular Formula One driver in an official survey. Vertappen has a supporters song. Super Max, which was released by the Pit Stop Boys. The song went viral after his 2021 championship victory, reaching number two in the UK and fifth in the global Spotify viral charts respectively. Awards and Honours In 2022, Vertappen was named the winner of the Laureus World Sports Award for Sportsman of the Year. Karting Record Karting Career Summary Racing record Racing career summary Asterisk season still in progress Complete FIA European Formula 3 Championship results Complete Macau Grand Prix results Complete Formula 1 results Did not finish, but was classified as he had completed more than 90% of the race distance Half points awarded as less than 75% of race distance was completed. Asterisk season still in progress.